Hello everyone. Today's clinical pearl involves attaining normal external rotation. In this case, it's for patients who have either anterior instability where it limits the amount of external rotation or due to some sort of capsular or muscle restriction as in frozen shoulder. So as you recall, we have the glenohumeral ligaments as a superior, middle, and inferior ligaments. That will be stressed or stretched by going from uh, to the side, which stretches mostly the superior glenohumeral ligament. Somewhere in the middle would be middle glenohumeral ligament, and then all the way out to 90 degrees would be inferior glenohumeral ligament. The reason that's important is some people may not be able to get all the way up, or you may not want to stretch the uh, inferior capsule. In this case, all I want to do is we're gonna go at about, uh, in the scaption plane, about 30, 40 degrees out, and we're gonna to start to go into external rotation. Once you start to feel a resistance, and we don't know if that's capsular tightness coming out, pushing it anteriorly, causing pain, and or if there is some restriction. So once we go out, and we could use the table for support, and if I sort of hit a snag or she shows some sort of apprehension, I want you to do a pure PA glide, uh, AP, anterior to posterior glide, down to the, you hit the table and ask if the pain has gone away. The pain has gone away. So now I'll be able to push forward a little bit further. Still paying attention to the end feel. We are not doing this to create any more instability. We're doing this to centrate the joint, to allow us to get more external rotation motion and possibly to help stretch out the posterior capsule and the other aspects of the glenohumeral ligament. Thank you.